Ferry's crew trip becomes a rescue mission when they spot this creature in the water. In New South Wales, Australia, ferries transport thousands of citizens from the bustling city of Sydney to the suburb of Manly every day. Recently, just after the evening commute, a woman was shocked to see something dive into the water and right into ferry traffic. The woman watched the critters swim 150 feet out past the jetty and right into the busy boat path. Something had to be done. But what? Luckily, a volunteer for the Sydney Wildlife Rescue Group named Joseph Battaglia was nearby feeding penguins. This woman came up to us with a pram and a couple of kids in it, Joseph told ABC News. She told him some kind of animal jumped into the water around at Fairlight and is swimming across. Joseph and his team rushed to the water's edge to investigate. At this point, a crowd had gathered along the wharf and watched in shock as the mysterious animal paddled right into harm's way. Joseph called the water police and New South Wales Maritime Department, but neither organization could help. What could be done? Making matters worse, a ferry was speeding towards the struggling animal. But the boat's captain didn't see her at first. Instead, the confused crew on board the Manly Fast Ferry wondered why dozens of onlookers were pointing at the water. Finally, the crew spotted the animal, and they knew they had to help her. According to a Manly Fast Ferry spokeswoman, the crew maneuvered the boat to block the animal and encourage her to head back to shore. At the same time, an alert sounded for all ferry travel to stop. Unfortunately, the animal kept swimming in the wrong direction, and the ferry's crew, which included Chris Thomas, knew they had to take matters into their own hands. Deckhands threw a bright orange life preserver into the water, but the now frightened creature ignored it. It was a long shot plan. How would she know to take hold of it anyway? It was time to reassess their options. By this time, the ferry had moved closer to the animal and the crew could make out exactly what it was, a wallaby. Not known for having great swimming abilities, the young marsupial had already become exhausted and she could drown at any moment. So Chris grabbed a rope. The captain steadied the ferry as best he could and Chris carefully lowered the rope he'd fashioned into a lasso into the water. He waited until he was able to position the lasso's loop around the waterlogged wallaby. After many anxiety-filled moments, the crew raised the exhausted marsupial from the water. Another crew member who'd been kneeling beside Chris used a boat hook to catch the wallaby's tail. Now there was nowhere for her to go but up. Once they had the wallaby on board, they saw just how tired the poor thing was. One of the crew members had to hold the terrified animal just to calm her down. That was when they realized they had another problem. As Chris later recalled in an interview with the Daily Telegraph, when we got her on the boat, our first thought was, now what do we do? We have a wallaby on the boat. Luckily, there was someone nearby who knew just how to help. It was Joseph, the Sydney wildlife volunteer who was watching on the shore. In no time, he and his team of volunteers hopped aboard the ferry and brought the marsupial ashore, where they were immediately met with applause. Will she be okay? One onlooker asked as Joseph's team brought the marsupial to dry land. From the looks on the Sydney wildlife team's faces, they likely knew the marsupial wasn't out of the woods yet. The rescuers called Jody Lewis, another Sydney wildlife volunteer who didn't believe what she was hearing. When we got the call asking us to go, we thought it was a G-up, she said, believing it was a prank. We got there and realized it was legit. Jody brought the wallaby to a veterinarian for a checkup. The diagnosis? The marsupial, whom Jody named Christine, had water in her lungs and scrapes on her feet, but nothing too seriously. Thankfully, treatment would be simple. After feeding Christine some snacks and letting her rest, Jody confirmed the good news with the telegraph. She's going well and she looks like she'll be okay to be released. Unfortunately, Christine's predicament was actually part of a larger wallaby issue in Australia. As Sydney Wildlife's Joan Reed said, wallabies are more vulnerable than ever. They can't get from point A to point B because of new building projects. In other words, their habitats were being destroyed or cut off altogether. Jody echoed those sentiments with the telegraph. It's possible the land clearing is starting to have an effect on animals, she said. We do what we can. Recently, she fought for tunnels and new developments to ease animal travels, but she lost. In the end, Christine the Wallaby was fortunate that Chris Thomas and the crew aboard Manly Fast Ferry went the extra mile to save her life. A lot happens on the harbor, Chris said, 
but this must have been one of the weirdest incidents.